time since I've seen you. Wow, let me take a look at everybody out there. Wow, oh my goodness. Some of you have even grown. Wow, oh, oh, and I see some of you have lost a tooth. <laughs> oh, and another friend out there also only has a few more days left of school. Then it's the summer. <laughs> Yahoo. Wow. Well, I wanted to let you know that I have been busy, 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 busy working away to bring you some awesome, amazing sessions of Live with Lily. <laughs> That's me. And today, today, I was thinking about creating a time capsule. Yeah. What's that? What's that you ask? What a time capsule is? Uh, okay. Well, uh, a time capsule has to do with time, of course. And, uh, um, oh, a capsule, of course. <laughs> I knew that. But uh, how can I, how can I explain it to you? Oh, I have a terrific idea. <laughs> I know. Let's ask my good friend and secretary, Christina from Epilepsy Toronto, to join us to help us understand about time capsules. Good idea? <laughs> okay, great. All right. Let me connect Christina to us. Okay. Let me see. I, she's in my contact, so she should be here. Uh, Christina. Oh, <laughs> Christina. Hello. How are you? Hi, Lily. I'm doing well, thank you. It is so great to see you again. Oh, it's certainly great to see you too, Christina. Wow. What have you been up to lately? Well, during these past weeks, I've been staying at home, working, exercising, and playing with my dog, Bowie, of course, uh, so that I remain safe and others do too. But Lily. Yes? I have really, really missed you. And I've missed all of our friends from our community at Epilepsy Toronto. And I have especially missed connecting with you through Live with Lily. Oh, Christina, that means so much. Me too. Me too. It just feels right that we are back and that we're still able to connect with each other. Huh. Yes. Now more than ever, we have to keep connected to each other because we can't get together in person just yet. So I'm so grateful to be able to talk with you today. Ah, thanks, Christina. Me too. I am so glad that we can be together and with our friends out there too. But Christina. Yes. It's also super important that we keep the conversation going and keep talking about what it's like to live with epilepsy too, right? Absolutely right you are, Lily. It really, really is. Lily. Yeah. I think I heard from a little birdie friend of mine that you have been wanting to create a time capsule. Oh, have you been talking to my mom, haven't you? <laughs> well, that's so funny because that's the reason why I wanted to connect with you today because I have, but uh, uh, can you remind me and our friends out there about what a time capsule really is? Oh, absolutely, Lily, of course. A time capsule is a container. Oh, oh, wait, a container? Uh, let me see. Uh, Mom, Mom, do, do, do you have a container I could use for my time capsule? Oh, sorry, Christina, I'm just asking my mom to help me. Is that okay? Of course. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 man, Mom, that was fast. Wow, you are the best mom. Oh, thanks, Mom. Look, Christina, look what my mom, she's so handy. She put this together. She was really planning. Do, do you like my time capsule container? Wow, your mom works so quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's amazing, Lily. 
Yeah, your container can be big or small or whatever shape you want. Here's mine. Wow. Wow, that's a great container too. Thanks. Well, this container is what I'm going to use for my time capsule. It can hold items like photos or newspapers or buttons or stickers, letters, artwork, and so much more. Wow. So what are you going to put in your container for your time capsule, Christina? Oh, I'm so glad you asked, Lily. I'm going to put in items that help me remember and commemorate this time. I want to remember what I was doing, how I was feeling, who I was with, like you, what I was grateful for. So when I open up my container, many, many, many years from now, I will remember. A time capsule is kind of like a diary or a journal or a story about what we've been doing right now. Oh, so it's sort of like creating a memory book, which is all about me. And, and I can put in there things that help me remember what I was doing during this time when we all are having to stay at our homes due to the virus. Exactly. We want to commemorate this time by creating a time capsule of memories so we can look back and remember. Wow, so cool. I love this. So um, what do you say about let's get started? <laughs> All right. And if you at home want to join us in creating your own time capsule, but not sure what you want to add, check the comments below for a great template that can give you some ideas. Okay. So I'm going to start by putting in a letter from my grandmother into my time capsule. Show it here. Oh, wow, a letter. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I haven't been able to visit her during COVID, my grandmother and I have sent each other letters as a fun way to communicate and let each other know how much we support each other. Amazing. Writing a letter is an awesome idea to keep connected, Christina. What a great idea. So you're going to put that in your container. Exactly. I'm going to put I it in my time really, capsule. Oh, I really love that idea. Wow. Thanks, Lily. Wow. What is one thing that you're going to put in your time capsule? Oh, uh, uh. I don't know. I'm not too sure just yet, Christina. Hmm. Lily. Yep. I have an idea. Why don't we connect with some friends from the epilepsy community and find out what they're going to put in their time capsules? That way, it might give you some ideas of what you can put in yours. Does that sound good? Oh, does it? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Amazing. I know that Sean and Bella have been following you, Lily, and I know they've been working on a time capsule too. Let's see if they can show us. Awesome idea. Sean and Bella, I can't wait to see them. That would be so fun. All right, let me see if I can connect them. Hmm. Hey. Oh, oh, Christina, Christina, look. It's Hi. Sean and Bella. Hi, Lily. Hi, Christina. Hi. Sean and Bella, welcome to Live with Lily. <laughs> That's me. Hi, so great to see you both. So great. Oh, so great to see you, Lily. <laughs> oh, thanks. That's so nice, Sean. It's great to see you too, Bella. I love your purple Thank outfit. You. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, you guys wow. look amazing. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thanks oh. so, so much for being here today to talk about time capsules. You're I heard welcome. you <laughs> I heard you were both working on one as well. Is that true? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, we were wondering if you could show us something that you're going to put in your time capsule. See, Lily is creating one too, but she's having a difficult time thinking about what to put in hers. Would it be okay if you showed Lily and our friends at home something that you're going to put in your time capsule? Sure. I would be happy to help you. Amazing! Show I'm me, show me, put, Sean! 
of <laughs> mask in my time capsule because wow a mask because show me sean tell us tell us okay. Because Face mask represents COVID nineteen, COVID nineteen pandemic in twenty twenty. Face mask protects others and me from COVID. Everyone should wear face mask when they are going outside. Wearing face mask is important to keep everyone safe. The mask also helps melt droplets from going on someone else. Amazing. Wow! 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 But Sean, you did you write that? That is amazing. That's so, yes. Wow! Those words are so important, Sean. Now, don't you think, Christina? Yeah, so important. It's amazing that you shared that with us, Sean. Can you show us your face mask? Okay. <laughs> wow! So that protects you, and it protects me too. Oh, Sean, you are one special person. Wow, you're even putting it on for us. Amazing. I really, really love the idea of putting a mask in your time capsule. It's going to be such a good reminder for all the things we had to do to keep safe during COVID. Yes. Bella, do you want to show us what you're going to put in yours as well? Okay. Yes, yes, show me, show me. Okay, I'll show you. Thank you. I can't wait to see it. In a minute, I can show you. Oh, I can't wait. Huh? <gasps> I can wait a minute for what you brought in your... <gasps> Look at Christina. Look at what Bella has been up to. <gasps> Amazing. Wow, what twosie. Huh? Bella, wow. can you tell us about what you're showing us? Okay. Um, this one over here says my co my 2020 COVID-19 time capsule. And then this one over here it says what I am doing to keep busy. And then I can read you this one first. It says online classes. We have English classes here. And then this one says taking care of plants. We have a lot of them out in our balcony. And then this one says playing with my toy. And I love to play with them. Bella, that is, that is beautiful. You really did capture a lot of things on there. Thank you, and the, thank you, and these are one of my toys that oh. Christina made with me. Oh, Christina, that's so special. It's amazing that you have that as a memory of our time together. I still play with her, and I still take care of her. Wow, you are one special person too, Bella. That, that was amazing. Uh, Sean and Bella... You both have, have given me amazing ideas of things that I could think about to put in my time capsule. Wow, uh, that's just, I, I'm overwhelmed. I'm, I, 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 I'm speechless, really. Uh, and so now I, I think I better go and gather some of my items for my time capsule. Thank you so much, Sean and Val. Welcome, Lily. No problem, Lily. Good luck with your time capsule, Lily. Oh, thanks, Bella. Thanks, Sean. Lily, when yep. you are done, why don't you send a photo of your your time capsule and we'll do the same. Oh, oh, will you send me a, a picture of your time capsule? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. Then I'll send you once I'm done a picture of mine. That's an amazing idea. I will for sure. Thanks so much for your help, Sean and Bella. You're welcome. No problem, Lily. <laughs> bye, guys. Thank you guys are awesome. Bye, bye. 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 Oh, bye. Amazing. Oh. oh. Oh, Christina, that was so helpful. I loved what they brought 
the masks that Sean wants. You remember how to protect each other. And, and the big poster from Bella of all the things that Bella was doing during this time. That was so helpful. Huh. I really am getting closer to having an idea of what I would like to put in uh, my time capsule. Thanks to Sean and Bella. Oh, great. I'm so, so glad that helped. It was so amazing that they were willing to come on and show you some great ideas. But it sounds like maybe you still see, need some more ideas. Do you, Lily? Uh, I do, Christina. Huh? That would be great if I could find some more ideas. Hmm. All right. Well, let me see who might be able to connect with us. Hmm. Oh, oh. <gasps> Hi, Lily. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is that Katie? Let me see. I got to touch you. Oh, Katie. I'll come closer. Really you. <laughs> oh, it's so great to see you. You look, I love your hair. You look oh. fantabulous. Oh, thank you. So nice to see you again, Lily, and you too, Christina. Lily, I'm so happy to be back at Epilepsy Toronto with everybody there. I'm not sure if Christina told you, but I've been away for the past year because I recently had a baby boy named Brody. What? What? Oh my gosh, so much has happened. I knew I missed you. A oh, baby I you. boy. Wow. <laughs> A baby boy. And so for our time capsule item, I wanted to choose something that would represent our family over the past year. So I chose something that we took on the first day together of COVID-19. Do you want to see it? Oh, do I? Absolutely. Yeah. <gasps> show it's us, show us. Family portrait. Oh, look at that. You, Brody. Oh, who's that guy beside you? My husband, Chris. Oh, Chris, <laughs> of course, yeah. And who, what's that on Chris's lap? That's our kitty cat named Donald. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Donald. That's a funny name for a cat. <laughs> it is, but you know what? It's gonna be so fun to look back at this picture years from now to see how big Brody got and how much older Chris and I are. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that is a beautiful picture and what a great idea to put into a time capsule. Exactly. Wow, so much, so much has happened, Katie. That is great. I, I mean, Christina showed me her letter to her grandmother. Uh, Sean and Bella have shown me masks and what they've been up to and you show me a photo. Wow. Pretty great. What a beautiful family. I think Brody looks more like you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and a thank little bit you, of Chris. Lily. <laughs> you know what, Lily? I think Jeff also wants to show you something that he wants to add to his time. Hey, everybody. Hi, Lily. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. <laughs> wow, Jeff is on here. Wow, this is pretty a special time to have Jeff on this. <laughs> So much fun. I'm so glad to be here. I was thinking really hard what I want to put in the time capsule. And it seemed to me that the one thing that I have been doing over and over and over again are washing my hands. Because every time I taste or I touch the computer or a desk, got to wash my hands. So I have my handy dandy hand sanitizer. I want to put that in the box. What do you think? Oh, Jeff! Oh, Christina and Kate, don't you think that's such a great idea, a hand sanitizer? Because like Sean showed us the mask and you're showing us the hand sanitizer and those are things that help keep us all really safe and healthy. You're a genius, Jeff. I'm pretty sure that's right. Does anybody want to do their hands here? Oh, oh yes, yes. yes. Work for everybody a little bit in there. There we go. Ah, now we'll wash our hands. Oh, that was great. I'm all cleaned up for the day, Jeff. Oh, you but do you use it a lot? I use it so much that there's only half left. <laughs> I have more. I have a lot more. <laughs> Oh, Jeff. Yeah, my hands are look so Oh, my goodness. You better put some cream on there. They look like they're a bit raw. 
Uh, Jeff, that's a great idea. What a great way to remember because from years from now, you'll certainly remember what you did every si single day. Wow. Thanks so much for sharing that, Jeff. And hey, you know Lily. What when, you know oh. what when you take it out of the box many, many years, it'll be all dirty so you can wash your hands right away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a great thing, Jeff. <laughs> I'm going to remember that one. That's a great idea. Hey, thank you. Hey, Lily. Yeah. I think we have one final guest for today. Who? Let's see if we can connect her. Jacqueline. Oh, Jacqueline. Oh, Jacqueline. Oh, amazing. Hi, Hi Lily. Jacqueline. Hi, everyone. <laughs> So Lily, I heard you're looking for ideas for your time capsule. Yes, yes, I, I am. I think I can help. So oh. during quarantine, I've had a lot of time to spend on activities and all sorts of hobbies that I really love doing. And one of those hobbies is baking. So for my time cap capsule, I'm gonna put in a recipe for one of my favorite treats that I've been making during quarantine and they're carrot muffins. Oh. They sound really healthy too there, Jacqueline. <laughs> yeah, they are. So I think my recipe is gonna remind me of all of the great baking and all of the delicious treats that I've had uh, all during quarantine. What a amazing idea. Wow, uh, Jacqueline, I was wondering, uh, uh, I'm feeling a bit hungry. Uh, uh, could, could you make me some too? I think I can do that. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, I'll come to curbside pickup for your carrot muffins. Sure thing, Lily. Anything for you. Oh, you're the best. Well, so we've got letters. We've got photos of family. We've got hand sanitizers, masks, and, and things we've been up to. And now we've got marvelous muffins. Oh, you guys, that is truly, truly amazing. Now, Lily, do you have an idea of something that you're going to put in your time capsule? Well, I think I do. I think I, after seeing everybody's ideas, I think I've, I think I figured it out with, with obviously the help from everybody. Oh, that's amazing. Tell us, Lily, tell us what you're going to put in your time capsule. Okay. So what I'm going to put in my time capsule is let me see if I can show you is one of my one of my favorite favorite necklaces <gasps> wow yeah it reminds me that I am a person living with epilepsy and it also reminds me of my time with you Christina <laughs> doing my live with Lily and all of my friends out there too so I thought this I have a lot of these necklaces and so I thought this would be a good one that I could put in there because I have so many of them oh oh and, and I also thought I, I'm wearing it today my dad's shirt I thought I would put this shirt can you see it oh, oh I'm um, standing up yes, oh, yes oh. one in a hundred I love yeah, that yeah, it's, it's my dad's shirt. So I thought I could put his shirt, <laughs> he doesn't mind, into the time <laughs> capsule. And by the time that uh, I open my time capsule, the shirt might fit me. <laughs> and 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 because I use that purple shirt for when I do the walk for, for purple day, right? Mm -hmm. That's coming up. So I thought those two things would be good for me to put in my time capsule because I, I wanted to remember that I'm unique, I'm special, and goodness gracious, I'm me. <laughs> oh, you certainly are, Lily. That is so wonderful. Uh, well, thanks so much to everybody today for their help. I really couldn't have thought of all these ideas. Uh, I'm going to collect up some more things and, and then I'll send send you a photo of my time capsule that's a great idea and maybe our friends out there can do the same if they want and email me at christina at epilepsytoronto.org 
during our next episode, maybe we can show some of the great ideas our friends from home shared with us. Oh, yes. So send everybody, yeah, Katie and, and Sean and Bella and Jacqueline and Jeff and, and, and Christine, send me pictures of your time capsule. And, um, and, and then, oh, 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 can, I can, I can't wait to see them all. But Christina, uh, don't forget to tell everyone to follow me on Instagram because, because I have a handle. I'm not really sure what that means, but, uh, I, I think it's, my mom set it up for me. It's a uh, tap uh underscore i don't know what an underscore is but live with lily uh, and um and and my friends can follow along and maybe we can post the pictures there too Amazing, great idea <laughs> yeah we can all stay connected one way or the other right right well i want to thank everybody for joining me thanks jeff thanks jeff Le Jacqueline, Jacqueline, what was, who's that? Jacqueline, <laughs> thanks, Sean, <laughs> silly me. Uh, thanks, Bella, thanks, Katie. Bye, Donald, the cat. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Wow. Oh, wow, Christina. What a great session of Live with Lily. <laughs> That's me, wow. This was so much fun. I think it was our best episode yet. Thank you so much, <laughs> Lily. <laughs> I had a great time. Well, I'm off to go follow you on Instagram and go play with my dog, Bowie. Bye. Oh, have a ton of fun. Yeah, say hi to Bowie for me. Thanks, Christina. Wow. Wow. Thanks, everyone, for learning along with me today about time capsules. Thanks for all the great ideas from my friends, Sean, Bella, Katie, Jeff, Jacqueline, and Christina, of course. Hi, it was so much fun. Gosh, I hope you can create your own time capsule and put any items that you want that will help you remember about these new and different times. Well, be kind to one another and thanks for connecting with me today. I look forward to seeing you again sometime soon, maybe next month for our purple walk. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks so much for tuning in with Live with Lily. <laughs> That's me. See you in July, friends. Be kind to one another. Bye.